Hi guys, it's Miss Shahi. Hope you're all doing well and you've had a restful weekend. Yeah, thank you for all the people who sent over their work last week. Well done to all of you. You've done some amazing work. And I, I hope you carry on doing the rest of the work as, is, as it is new learning. And it's very vital that you are doing this learning because we don't need to fall behind. As we don't know when school's going to open so for today's session what you're going to need is a pencil some paper and you're going to need to access the worksheet from the grange website it's year four it's labeled fronted adverbials with the date on it okay so our word of the day is vicious okay so vicious is the definition of vicious is deliberately cruel or violent a vicious assault and then the synonyms for vicious is brutal, ferocious, savage, violent, dangerous, ruthless, and remorseful. Pause the video for a minute and try to put vicious in a sentence of your own. And then you can continue on to today's lesson. Okay guys, so let's start off with our spelling test, the usual. Um, so you've got your five words, hope you've learned them all. So let's start with our first word, which is build. Build. I need to build a house. Build. Your second word is busy. Busy. I am very busy on Saturdays. The word is busy. Your next word is business. Business. The business was making a loss. Business. Your fourth word is calendar. Calendar. There are twelve months in a calendar calendar your next word is fish sorry caught caught i caught a fish in the pond caught Okay, so those are your five words. I'm going to move on to the next page for you to then mark it. So here are your five words. Pause the video for yourself for a minute or so and correct, um, correct all your spellings before we can move on to the lesson. So build, busy, business, calendar and court. Okay guys, so... Like we always do, can you write the date and the night in the top left hand corner of your sheets or the books that you have? And the learning intention for today is to be able to identify and begin to use fronted adverbials in a sentence structure. So we did previously do some work on fronted adverbials, but uh, I think we needed another lesson on it because a lot of uh, you guys did uh, find it tricky to use fronted adverbials. In your writing when we do the big write so before we move on because we've already done it previously once I would like you to just pause the video for a minute do you remember what a fronted adverbial is if you do remember what it is say it to an adult next to you if there's no adult just write it on a piece of paper what is a fronted adverbial pause the video for like 15 seconds okay so what is an adverbial an adverbial is a word, phrase or clause that is used like an adverb to modify a verb or a clause. You all know what a verb is, right? A verb is a... Well, on, call it out. Well done. A verb is a doing word. It's an action word like talk, run. That's things that we do. Adverbs can be used ad as adverbials. But many other types of words or phrases and clauses can be used in this way, including prepositional phrases and subordinate clause. We will do some work on subordinate clauses the following week. 
So what is a fronted adverbial? When an adverbial is used at the beginning of a sentence, they're often called fronted adverbial. You see, it's in the word front. front. Okay, so what is a fronted adverbial? A fronted adverbial goes at the beginning of a sentence. It describes the verb in the sentence. It describes where, when and how something is done. Okay, so next step, types of fronted adverbials. There are different types of fronted adverbials to describe the verb in a sentence. So it describes the time, so at the time something happens, the frequency, how often the verb happens, the place where something happens, the manner, the manner is how something happens and the possibility how likely something will or has happened so here we've got examples for all five of them so the time before sunrise Darius crept into the beast's cave so frequency is how often something happens here's an example every so often Darius could hear the beast's ferocious snore the place something happens at the back of the cave the terrifying creature began to stir the manner something happens as quick as a flash Darius had bounded behind a nearby rock the possibility almost certainly the deadly beast could find would find Darius. Now what I want you to do is pause the video for around two minutes and on a piece of paper I want you to come up with a sentence for each one of these five ways that we use fronted adverbial. So come up with a sentence for time, a sentence for frequency, a sentence for place, a sentence for manner and a sentence for possibility. Use this use these examples here to help you structure your own sentences and then you can move on <clears throat> to the next slide did you notice how fronted adverbials were being punctuated what what's what what is added after the front of the verbial have you noticed well done it needs a comma after every fronted adverbial we need to add a comma Okay, so it's very important a comma is added after every fronted adverbial which comes at the beginning. Every fronted adverbial word, phrase or clause needs to be followed by a comma to separate it from the main clause of the sentence. Where should the comma go in this fronted adverbial sentence below? Let me read it out for you. Slowly and carefully they release the juvenile badger back into the wild. Pause the video for 10 seconds and... Think of where the comma needs to go. Well done. The comma needs to go after slowly and carefully. So here are some examples. As soon as he could, comma, Tom jumped off the train. Last week, I went to the dentist. Okay. Here are just some examples. Fronted adverbial, followed by comma, and then the main clause. And then in winter, this is also, this describes time, some animals hibernate. Outside my house, I found a pizza. So what does this describe? When, where, how, the possibility or manner? Well done. This describes where, because it's outside my house, I found a pizza. So what is a fronted adverbial? What I want you to do is now write a short sentence in your own words, then read it to an adult. So on a piece of paper, answer this question, what is a fronted adverbial? And then I want you to write on your piece of paper or tell an adult what a fronted adverbial is, what are the five things it describes, and also where does it come and what punctuation is needed. Those, all these three things should be in your answer. Okay, so 
adding commas. Where should the comma go in this fronted adverbial? On Tuesday, class 12 are visiting the Imperial Museum. Well done. It goes after Tuesday because it says this describes what? When, where or how? It describes when. Excellent. So does the fronted adverbial describe time, frequency, manner, place or possibility? And well done. We already went through it. It describes the time. Okay, let's have a look at the next example. Where should the comma go in this fronted adverbial sentence? Without a doubt, Billy was going to finish the race in the first place. Well done. It goes after without a doubt. Does this fronted adverbial describe the time, frequency, manner, place or possibility of the action in the main clause? Well done. It describes the manner, how something's happened. Okay, let's have a look at the next example. Out in the field, the horse and her new foal galloped. Where does the comma need to go? Well done. It comes after field because it tells us what does it describe now? Time, frequency, manner, place or possibility? Place because it's out in the field. If you are still unsure about what fronted adverbials are or how we use them then watch the following clip before completing the task in order for you to have a better understanding of um, fronted adverbials because we've already done some work on it previously and we just went through it now I think <clears throat> it's quite um, useful to also watch the video as it can give you more ideas and maybe you know give you a better even better understanding to deepen your knowledge so watch this clip it's around four minutes it's not that long and um, we can then move on to the task okay so this word mat you've got words here to help you in your writing so you've got words fronted adverbials here which describe time frequency place manner and possibility just in case you run out of words in your um, when you're doing your work, you've got a word mat here that you can use. You can freeze this screen when you're doing your writing, so you can have a look at these. Okay, so for the task challenge one, you choose whether you want to do challenge one or you want to do challenge two. So challenge one, you're going to write down five fronted adverbial sentences of your own using the word mat provided. In this video and then you're going to complete the sheet from the Grange website it's labeled year 4 fronted adverbials with the date and then challenge 2 for all the people that are doing challenge 2 what I want you to do is spot the fronted adverbials in this piece of text and once you've spotted it I want you to put an arrow next to it to write down whether that fronted adverbial describes the time frequency manner place or possibility and then your second task is to write down five fronted adverbial sentences of your own and add an expanded noun phrase to the sentence so you will be your sentences will be quite extended because we did expanded noun phrases last week and the answers for challenge two will be in this video so challenge two answers a rule here and now this is your spelling test for next week this is the list of words that you will need to learn I hope you're all getting five out of five because it's not it's not many words and you've got a whole week to learn it so you should be really acing the spelling tests because it's a less amount and you are at home try to write these words out as many times as possible it, can, it usually does help with the spellings so your five words are center century certain circle and complete okay so please send over any work that you do over to us any great pieces they will be put in all the shout out videos for you guys and speak to you guys so soon look after yourselves take care and stay safe carry on doing all the work that you've been doing
Goodbye. See you later, guys.